guys so we are officially in the last 10 nights this is definitely gonna be the last segment of my vlog for this I am in a state of panic not necessarily panic but I would say maybe haste I do feel a bit hasty Bismillah. by the way I recently got into these acne strips um, not strips they're like the little maybe they are strips like you put it like acne patches that's what you say so you put them on like targeted areas and apparently it's supposed to help with you not breaking out as much so hopefully that works well for me when i tell you your girl is serious about the last 10 nights i literally made an entire schedule with my family in terms of the masjids that we're gonna go to but more so strictly qiyam the last 10 nights in the masjid alhamdulillah i'm fortunate enough to be able to not have to go to work the next day they have school unfortunately after easter weekend they're gonna be going to school but i don't have work so i'm literally planning on just camping out at the masjid from let's say i don't know maybe 12 to fajr time every single day for the last 10 nights listen i am getting my duas accepted i know i am there's no way i'm not hopefully i pray it comes in the form that i want it to but if it doesn't it's fine as well, Qadr Allah, we move. I will trust Allah. I, I say that, but it's so hard. But listen, I'm gonna make the intention to really fully trust Allah, do my dua, do my part, and then whatever Allah decides to give me, I'm gonna be happy with, inshallah. But I'm so excited to actually buckle down and truly worship as much as I can. I think for the first 20 days, I'm not sure if you guys can relate, it definitely did I did not have that sense of urgency as I have right now like being in the last 10 nights now I feel like absolutely not I'm not sleeping I don't care before it's like okay I mean I'm not gonna sleep as much but I still am gonna get some sleep I'm gonna be a little comfortable now I don't care if I'm comfortable or not if I'm comfortable alhamdulillah but that's not the target my target is to you know worship as much as I can make as much dhikr I had a really good recipe too so yesterday was our first night of qiyam at the masjid so what I was doing making a lot of dhikr and then just not using my phone, not using anything. After I did that, I went ahead and did Quran. And then after that, I went ahead and made dua. Dua is like my grand finale, guys. I just, I like to save it for the end. Like right, like that last hour before Fajr, I love to save dua up until that time. But I really pray that we're all able to have a very, very good last 10 nights. Inshallah, it'll be fruitful for all of us. And inshallah, we all take very good advantage of it. One thing that motivates me is the fact that Prophet Muhammad wasallam says that Ramadan is literally the difference between somebody going into Jannah before someone else, even before the Shaheed. That is obviously a very high rank, but the fact that you as a Muslim experienced another Ramadan and hopefully you took advantage of it, that's enough for you to even go into Jannah beforehand. Like we take our Ramadans for granted, it's so crazy. I'm talking to myself, we take it so much for granted. Like, why do I feel like I'm gonna have another Ramadan? I need to really buckle down and truly be in a position and be an environment where I can capitalize off of this moment in Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wait, let me show them. Let me show them. Welcome Wait, to my vlog, guys. Guys, this is V. We where? are on a mission to go to so many masjids, at least for total prayer, and we're on our way. We actually already went to one masjid already in the morning. Not the morning for Maghrib Thanks so now we're going to the DNS center which is we just say the Turkish mosque bro and it's 15 minutes away so okay so my okay this is me when my niece is trying to sit in the front seat see you don't know your class anymore <laughs> did she say you smell of poverty? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you're ever in the DMV area, guys, let's tell them what to get. Like, if you're ever at the DMV area, Keepley, Keepley. <laughs> Bro, Keepley needs to go to Pizza Roma. Like, and get that the place Italian is hot so cut. good. Italian hot cut, good customer service. With, with ranch so on sweet. the side, guys. With ranch. 50, 50 cents. Assalamu alaikum, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. I'm actually running late, but of course, my priorities are not intact. I'm gonna show you my outfit. 
much they sugary. Don't know. I don't know how to do it like they this. They really don't. It's so up the screen it so it's much. It's, it's really so no, I made this inner I'm piece, like, and no, then no, no, I don't know where I got this hijab like, from. I think maybe Ikna. And I just I love this pairing so much. وقعته غنى الدرين فالزم وقعته غنى الدرين فالزم وفي العز للعبد الذليل وفي العز للعبد الذليل Assalamu alaikum everybody. So it is Friday, the last Friday of Ramadan. SubhanAllah, time has gone by so fast, but I actually am on my way to my friend's iftar. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready for that. I'm supposed to be out the door by now. Let me tell you my motivation for like dressing up the last 10 nights. More than I already do originally. I mean, not gonna lie. One thing about me is I'm gonna try to wear nice things every day, but last 10 nights, is a mighty exception okay because i was listening to a lecture the other day well i actually heard this lecture last year but then it kind of reinforced it for me like a few days ago but um it was saying how back then the sahaba like for the last 10 nights would really dress up so some of them would be wearing their very best clothes and it would look like eid they would go in the masjid and it would look like eid like everybody's very happy and then every when people would ask like why are you guys dressing up during this time like why are you guys doing so much and you're going to the masjid and you're and it's night time or maybe some of them are even at home you know, doing their aribada at home. And then they said, why will we not dress up when it can be Layla Tul Qadr, any of these nights, and on top of that, Jibreel is coming. Will I not look good for Jibreel? So listen, I'm, Jibreel is coming, okay? When I, when I, when I, when I wear this abaya, just know Jibreel might just come, okay? He might just be there. So that's my motivation. Now I'm like, oh my God, I gotta look real good. So I already knew I was gonna wear this abaya for the last 10 nights. It's very like, you know, classy elegant it's see-through as well so i had to put another abaya underneath okay guys it's the 27th night of ramadan and i'm telling you the way this masjid like it's actually very i don't know if it's bad or it's if it's good Everyone thinks that Laylat al-Qadr is on the 27th, but it's like the way I'm telling you, like how people come is crazy. It's it's actually crazy. Like it's naive. We're here in the message. We're not even praying in the building because it's so chaotic. Like it's just so like it's a lot of people. We got this room for ourselves because they be trying to take it sometimes um, during Tahajj. So this is where we sit. I think you Chimmy showed you this room. Like where we recite our Quran, we can be loud here. So I was gonna say that today is the twenty seventh and we are gonna oh, I do said our that in a clip. Well we already told them? Yeah. I said it's and why would you tell them? So this is this has been our schedule every single day, um, for the last ten nights. So we actually don't go to sleep. Okay, we get here around, well, I get here around like 11, 12, and we then... We here, we eat if not here. They're here for longer, but, because I go to different Seven. masjids for Tarawir, yeah. So, I get here around 11 to 12 a.m., and then we leave after Fajr, and they pray Fajr here like around 6. So, we're here for a very long time, but listen, we're Ibadah girls, okay, because we're doing Ibadah. Don't play with us. Yeah, don't play with us. We we're be doing our Quran. Yeah. This is our home. This is our home. Is so, our home. Today, I'm going to show you the full night of how we do it, okay? So, I just finished Tarawir uh, in here, and then, now what time is it actually? I'm actually here pretty early today. It's only like 11. Really? Or is it 11? Tell me what time is it? Um, 10.55. Oh my god, it's not even 11 yet. So, I'm actually going to do a little bit of my schoolwork. For like maybe 30 minutes and then my friend Khadija's coming Khadija's coming to ITM. Oh. so then after she comes we're gonna get Duncan and then we're gonna come back we're gonna be real erratic girls Wait, we're Duncan gonna worship Duncan. Allah so much okay because listen you don't know if today could be Layla Tul Qadr you don't so you gotta treat every day like it's Layla Tul Qadr you don't be one of those people that only treat the 27th like to. Layla Tul Qadr exactly what she said because listen what you do said. that 
Listen, you know, I was actually at drama today, and he said, if you do that, and you think you're going to catch the little color and you only do the 27th. You came today to ICM? Yeah, well, I came to the second one, though, not the first one. He said the same thing in the first one. Uh, Guys, what? so you see, I was listening to Abbas Man today, and he was like, there was this Sahabi that's like, he, I forgot his name, but he's, um, I forgot his name, but he's very big. Like, even Allah mentioned his name to the Prophet. Mm -hmm. So he's big. So they were in the masjid one time, and he was like, he got up and said, Wallahi, David mm -hmm. al-Qadr is on the 27th. So the thing is, he's obviously not lying, because the Prophet was inside the masjid with him. And he told, like he said this to everyone, but we don't know if it was, if it was only for that year. Because David al-Qadr can change. And you don't know if we started Ramadan late, if we're ending it late. That's so true. that's why I feel like if you really want your dice to be accepted, why can't you just do it for all 10 days? Like that, you can never miss. You know, so just be safe and do it every single day, okay? Yeah. That took us five minutes to basically say, treat every day like little Qadr. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I went to a diftar, y'all. I ate so much, but then I had to leave. I said, I'm going to worship Allah today, okay? I promised the Lord I'd worship Him, so I'm going to do it. You so, promised Him? Mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm going to worship you, Lord. I'm going to worship you real hard today. Mm -hmm. And I told him that um, after Fudger, I think I said it to him. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta fulfill my promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the mustard is so full I mean, yeah, on the 27th night. Food. And even like the days leading up I to the 27th. Mean, I, I was really and then yeah. right after the 27th really night, Egypt. you come here the next day, so you're gonna I feel like a sniper in Ramadan anymore. Like nobody comes. Okay, let me not say nobody. There are a few people that do come, of course. But it's not the same amount of people that come. هل في الوجود إله غيرك فيدعى أم هل في الملأ إله غيرك فيرجى أم هل كريم غيرك يطلب منه العطاء أم هل جواد سواك فيرجى you know, you know, not I wouldn't say as much as I should because I kind of do like the fact that I didn't record much for the last ten nights just so I can get in as much bad as possible. But inshallah for today and tomorrow, the last days of Ramadan, I'm gonna vlog how the process has been like um, for the last ten nights with everybody around me. And alhamdulillah, I just really love the routine that we have down right now. By the way, I'm gonna be doing my hair care routine before I leave because you know I get home after Fudger and I'm so lazy to do my entire uh, hair care, skin care, everything like that whole routine that I usually do at night. So I use this, not gonna lie, I don't really like it as much. Um, I try to like it but I don't. This I love. This is like my staple. I put this in my hair almost every single day. This is good but I don't like the smell. This is the abaya and it's a very nice abaya. You can be very versatile with it, so you can either wear it like this, however it's going to be very long at the bottom if you wear it like this, so I do like to wrap it at least one side, so I like to hold it like that. And then it just looks so haliji, it looks so put together, I love it so much. This is the outfit, I love it so much guys, oh my god, I just feel so classy, I feel so elegant, I feel like, you know, I just feel amazing. Okay. Um, where's my ring? Oh, I dropped it. Should I just get it? I dropped it under here, but I don't feel like getting it, guys. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna be lazy. Actually, no, let me get it. Very dark outside. Oh my god, I thought I saw something. Whew. I was gonna be scared, but I wasn't gonna run. I was just gonna be scared without running. Yeah, I'm going to the masjid right now. So I'm not masjid hopping anymore, guys. For the end of Ramadan, I'm just sticking to the masjids that I know. I love 100%, so I'm going to Imam Center with my sister. Uh, they pray Irakat there plus, plus Witter. And then from there, we're gonna go to our hometown masjid. Bismillah, oh my God, I always, guys, I swear, as long as I've been driving, I forget that I'm the one that has the keys, so I have to be the one to unlock the car. I just automatically expect that it's unlocked for me. Huh? 
<laughs> Girl, I'm talking to my friends. Oh, you were in the same bag. That she copied me, y'all. No, actually, you copied me. She copied my bag, bag y'all. I had this bag first. Okay, be quiet. <laughs> Did you hear her? She said, don't piss me off. Hey, what will you do? Hey, what will you do? Talk to me. I hate to what kill to the law. But I have a lot of people who Okay, so should I try to get to um, Imam Center by myself with my own head? No, not if you want to actually go. Wait, really? You don't think I could do it? Uh-uh. Okay, let me put the GPS, y'all. It's not good to drive with people that don't have faith in you. Yup, because I'm pessimistic. Yeah, really when you're with people like that, you can't ever, you can't ever expand. Did you say a dura, bro? Yeah. I said it for myself. I'm protected. I don't know about you. Okay. I'm just so Oh, there goes our neighbor. The planner is here. I'm not a thief, guys. Listen, her lip liner. They would have cut your damn arm off. <laughs> God, you gotta be cautious of what you say. You said you were talking to your friends. I am talking to my they friends. They do not know you. They are my friends, Maya. Dude, I get the sad life. I thought she was on the phone. And I see that camera. These be my friends. You know, it's so funny. You, know, you saw that TikTok when people were like, at me in 2014 when my mom would take my phone and yell at me for talking to a 37 year old man <laughs> on kick. Mom, I'm talking to my friend. 37. <laughs> I know, but Wallahi, when you're young, you just talk to older people because you genuinely feel like everybody, like, yeah, like, you don't feel like anybody's a predator. You just feel like everybody's your friend. It's actually so crazy. Like, I could, I could remember countless times being young, just talking to random people and never feeling like they had any, and ho hopefully, inshallah, they didn't. But you just, when you're young, you don't, it doesn't cross your mind that, oh my god, this person might not have the best intentions. Let me not talk to them. Great. And then I got it. All right, be quiet. Yeah. Let me close and turn this camera off. You talking too much. Yeah. Girl, turn it. Signal off. You love to hear it. Okay, guys. So at this masjid, every single person double parks because there's so many people that come. So we all have to leave at the same time because everybody is blocking somebody. Like, somebody is blocking me in the front. I'm blocking this car. There's gonna be cars parked behind me. To be Muslim is very, very easy. Just two points that you declare. Abdu. Abdu. Wa. Wa. Rasulu. Rasulu. I bear witness. His prophet. His prophet. And last messenger. And last messenger. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Okay, so we just got to the masjid and I am gonna do my schoolwork before I do anything else because I am very behind, um, unfortunately. But what can you do, you know? Can't do much about that. So I'm gonna do my schoolwork and then after that I'm gonna do my ibadah. I'm getting here by the girl today. You got it specifically because of some. There's actually a lot of people at the masjid right now. Yep. There's a lot of people for the hood. Like this is the hood time. What time does it say it's gonna start? Over here it says two. The solar eclipse happened, and uh, the same day, his uh, son Ibrahim of Allah died. So the people start talking about that because. And of course, the Prophet also very much. Long time. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, guys, it's actually very dusky outside, and oh my God, that prayer was an hour and twenty minutes. Okay, so one single prayer, an hour and twenty minutes, and the sujuds were like maybe fifteen minutes each. Salamu See you tonight, Shalom. The sujuds were like twenty minutes. Subhanallah. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Barrow, did you pray? That prayer is not for the weak, okay? Not for the weak of knees. I will say I was quaking a bit in Ruku. He was in Ruku for maybe 15 minutes. Um, and you don't realize how each prayer could actually strain you a little bit. like, Or each position in prayer could strain you a little bit. But alhamdulillah, I feel... I'm happy that we at least went for that. I've never been to... I've never done that prayer before. So alhamdulillah, it's definitely an experience. Okay guys, so I just woke up. And I'm trying to see if I should wear this. I buy a slip. Outfit, guys. Outfit check. And we were in Sujud for like, each Sujud we took was like 15, 20 minutes. Just Sujud. For one Sujud. And you know, they, for this for this prayer, you have to do Ruku twice. So after you say, you go to Ruku, and then you come back again. And then you stand here. You stand for a long time like this for like 10 minutes. For my Sujud, I have to like, I was... Dude, actually, yeah, I'm you, know, you, can't, you can't read it aloud. They're gonna leave. So what did I tell you about that Bushard Express? I told you Bushard Express. By the time the man finished, nobody's going behind him. I really like the brown. Wait, did they do this so long? Mashallah guys, the weather is so beautiful. Let me tell you guys why, how Muslims are the real adventures. Muslims, we are the real adventures. We're even better than adventures because adventures leave the town destroyed. Wait. Jeez! Right, let me explain my theory. It's not even a theory, man. Let me explain why. Let me explain. While the solar eclipse was happening and people had fun watching, many Muslims were in the masjid praying that entire time. Ask me if I saw the solar eclipse. I didn't. I saw the aftermath. We were protecting the world. Bro, that was just another ayah. It's like, it's so cool to think about like, oh my God, a solar eclipse happened, but then it's like, oh my God, Allah, like, what are you trying to tell us? Um, we're gonna go right now to the last Tarawi of Ramadan 2024. Ya yeah, Allah, this Ramadan has been amazing. Um, may you allow us to see many more. I mean, you have to say, I mean, swear. I hope they do it like the glass over there. Um, we just got back home and oh my god guys look how beautiful the henna is I love it I love it I love it so I'm gonna wear gold and hot pink tomorrow for Eid but of course I have to deep clean my room because Eid is not gonna feel good if my room is a mess like the room needs to be very clean so that's what I'm gonna do now and while I clean my room I'm actually gonna talk to you guys so alhamdulillah the last 10 nights at the masjid was like the most beautiful thing ever to the point where I've met so many people that I wouldn't even have considered to, you know, I would, is this your job? I wouldn't have thought to speak to certain people. You know, when I would, you know, certain people, when you see them at the masjid, you don't really think you're going to have a good conversation with them or you just think of them like, okay, it's just another sister at the masjid. When you think about it, guys, the fact that certain people are getting up every single day to go to the masjid, I had it easy because I just went straight to the masjid. People that are sleeping there, yes, but also just waking up in the middle of the night to go to the masjid to worship Allah at a specific time, subhanAllah. It's just so beautiful to see that there are people in this ummah that love this deen so much that they will literally get up 
every single day for the last 10 nights to ask Allah for something. And Allah's promise is true, so I know everybody's gonna get what they asked for, but it was just so beautiful for me to see. And I made I met so many amazing people that I feel like I'm always gonna have a lifelong, a lifelong connection with um, in Ramadan and outside Ramadan as well. So yeah, that was a very amazing experience for me. I will definitely be doing this every single year. Alhamdulillah, I did it last year, and I don't know, I think I did a lot better this year with my last 10 nights, right? You feel that too? Yeah, I feel like I was more focused. Me too. Like last year, it was, it was more fun than us, like, like we did do the worshiping, but I feel like we, well, we had, had more, fun. more fun. Exactly. This time, not, even though I didn't really mention how, but I feel like I actually did that, like, you had more fushu, yeah. yeah. Alhamdulillah. No, I feel the same thing, the same way. Like I feel like maybe at least for the last ten nights the fun decreased, but that ibadah went up. And sometimes you just gotta choose. You know, it's, it's nice to have fun, but sometimes you have to say, okay, what is the what 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 do I need the most in this moment? So alhamdulillah for everything. Anyways, I'm gonna clean my room. Um, I actually already cleaned it like two days ago, but. I'm gonna clean it again and then I'm gonna do a really nice hair treatment. Yeah, I'm gonna do a deep conditioning hair treatment for tomorrow. Even though I'm gonna wear hijab, but you know, just to, you know, get my hair done or whatever. And then, yeah. We're also having an iftar at my house. She, she lost I will never She lost it Saudi. because she went to Saudi and she came and here. My mom got me. A I don't know, it's an old excuse. excuse. This is gold. I know, it's, it's really not it's an excuse. excuse. It's, I would it's never gold. lose gold. Yeah, it's Rama, gold. If you give me gold, I'm never losing gold. <laughs> See, I, it, yeah. Hey guys, this is my Eid outfit. I'm so... I really love it, okay? I made this a long time ago. Um, a few months ago, actually, when the Barbie movie came out, I was inspired to make a pink uh, abaya. And I've never worn this before, so this is my first time. <laughs> Her and we're all now at my sister's mother-in-law's house because she invited us over for like eat lunch. Sub Sofiana. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at this boy on the couch with his phone. What is he doing? Oh, they serve this at the. So, how? What is it called again? What is baso soup? So this is baso soup, guys. It's um, I would say it's like kind of pho, but like the Indonesian version. It's very, very good. I just put everything she has in there, and I can't wait to drink this broth. It's gonna be very good. There's like a lot of different options, but I got like the, the one that looks like noodles. So, mm -hmm. Look at your mommy. Let me tell you guys something. If you guys are ever gonna get mangoes, you have to get them in Pakistan because they're so sweet. They are. I could eat like 10 of them, but I just don't have them available to me right now. <laughs> and now we're at the mall and we're gonna go out to eat. And I'm mainly here for boba. We came here for a bougie restaurant, but not gonna lie, I'm now in the mood for Chipotle, so we're all So we're all here. gonna get Chipotle and boba and sit under outside. Because we're getting Chipotle with her, like, who gets Chipotle yeah. to eat? Like, what? Jimmy uh, does. 
Now we're and all I also want bubble, bubble tea. We're huh? going to the good one at Tyson's. Yeah. So hey we're guys, looking we're for the Pibla. <laughs> this is um, a sign for you that no matter where you are, you have to pray. So it's 7.43, Maghrib just came in. So we're just looking for the Qibla, and then this is the perfect place to pray. You're scared of that dog? It's not gonna do you anything. Well, the though. dog is gonna come bite you. You don't even look like tasty. Oh, okay. It's like straight. It's kind of straight. Like, like this? this? So like this. Oh, yeah, we waiting it's for the It's literally nap? straight. Girl, I'm gonna just put my yeah, I'm putting, putting my hijab on the ground. Girl, be quiet. Girl, be quiet. I'm vlogging, Chimmy. You're, You're talking so serious like that. I don't oh, think sorry, the audience sorry, will like that. That's Guys, not she doesn't. Who I really am. She doesn't talk to her like that. No, she wasn't cooperating this time. That's yeah, that's why. Oh, like, okay. Usually we were nice, but this time she was just giving us. Yeah. So our Eid consisted of what visiting. What, what did we do? So we went to Eid for Salah, mm -hmm. and then we went to my sister's in-laws. Mm -hmm. Oh, she had really good food. Yeah, very she had good. food, it, it but it's good. like they call it something else, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what it's called. I forgot the word, but it was very good. Food. She had very, oh my god, those mangoes, the mangoes were, were so, so sweet. sweet. Oh, it was, it was so, so good. Bad. They were from Pakistan. Yeah, oh, wow. So they were like yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yeah. I wish I got Those mangoes so were sweet, though. Like, they tasted like they would be perfect in a smoothie. Yeah, I usually yeah. don't like mangoes, but I kept going. I ate, I feel no, bad. I, I ate like almost half the plate. Whole... No, it's a video. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm about to leave them. You guys are gonna go because I saw your mom inside. Yeah, I'm making them walk home. It's Sunnah. You know they say it's Sunnah to walk home. So, <laughs> and these Louboutins. Walk up behind me by Louboutins. Okay, guys. So I just got back home, and oh my god, it's kind of bittersweet. Ramadan is actually over. I feel like it literally just started, and. It's over, just like that. Eid is over. We're back to our normal lives. SubhanAllah, it feels like just yesterday we were all getting ready and preparing for Ramadan. I'm very excited to get back into my normal routine of things. Inshallah, when I actually have like a hard cutoff bedtime at 10 o'clock. So hopefully that goes well for me. And although this Ramadan has gone by very fast, I honestly feel like this Ramadan has been the most beneficial Ramadan for me and I feel like I got the most out of it and that is all due that's all credit due to the last 10 nights I really feel like subhanAllah I really did a lot more and the last 10 nights that kind of made up for how I was feeling um, in the first in the first 20 days I really love the routine that I had I truly hope that we were all able to benefit from this Ramadan and not only benefit but okay, okay of course benefit right like benefit in the month of Ramadan but if anything to carry out those long-lasting changes outside of Ramadan you know Ramadan is kind of the grounds for you to know that you can do it it's possible and then you have the rest of the year to show for it you have the rest of the 11 months to say you know what Allah this is how I'm gonna show up this is how this Ramadan has been of benefit to me and subhanAllah it's just so crazy you know people say this every Ramadan and it you know it kind of sounds basic because it's said all the time but in reality there's always so many people and not even so many people we could even just say one or two people that we know every single year that did not make it to the next Ramadan you know and whether it's somebody you've heard of that you know and subhanAllah the shaitan really puts us in such a false sense of security that we're we're gonna somehow be the ones that are protected like for some reason like it's incapable of happening to us like death is incapable of crossing our paths like us no like death is for other people it's not for us and of course this is more of an unconscious thought when you really get rid of the idea that you know you're not uh invincible that death can come to you the same exact way and you're just as likely to die <laughs> as everybody else in different circumstances that will really humble you a person in the middle of the ocean by themselves clinging onto nothing but a piece of wood that's helping this person stay afloat has more of a chance of survival than the person safe and sound inside their home depending on what Allah decrees you know because if Allah doesn't want anything to touch you it's not going to touch you and if he wants something to touch you it doesn't matter what your circumstances are it's going to touch you you know so this Ramadan definitely has humbled me in that sense where I'm I'm tr I'm truly trying hard to not feel that certain things can't touch me because oh you're young so death isn't going to come to you or you're healthy or you know you live here you do this like what what a false sense of security that the shaitan gives you a false sense of control that you think you have over your life you know 
The sick person could live for a hundred years and you being a healthy person can get hit by a car tomorrow and not survive. God forbid, I mean, why do we feel that can't happen to us but it could happen to other people? That's another story. Now my second prayer is to hopefully feel that my Ramadan has been accepted. And they say how you know your Ramadan is actually accepted is if you are changing in better ways, you know? And you're starting to slowly see your du'as come true. So let's say you wanted to start praying sunnah prayer. Now you find it very easy for yourself to pray sunnah. Or maybe you don't even find it easy, but you still push yourself to do it anyways. You have a certain drive to do things that you didn't have before, you know? Even if you have to force yourself. They say like that's some of the signs of like an accepted Ramadan. And hopefully that kind of motivates me to push myself to do better. Just so I feel like even more so that my uh, Ramadan... And inshallah, my little al Qadr and, you know, everything, all the du'as that I've been making uh, ha has been accepted. But I wish the same for you guys as well. And I hope that we all learn to take advantage of the times that we're in. Um, regardless if you feel, you know, you're going through a hard time, a good time, an okay time, a time you don't really care for. To not take it for granted. SubhanAllah, we are not promised life. I'm not promised next Ramadan. It's so weird to say and it's so weird to believe, really. Me, the invincible Jimmy Q, I could be dead tomorrow. And then what <laughs> what will I have to say for myself when I when I when I'm presented, you know, to Allah? That's also one thing that gets me. What will you say for yourself? What what can you genuinely tell Allah, you know, when you when you are to say anything that you've done truly for his sake, not necessarily something that you've done that's Islamic, you know, you prayed, you did XYZ. No. Think of something that you've truly done for Allah's sake. It was so hard for me to come up with a list of like 10 things, you know? And SubhanAllah, I wanna die with at least having a full blown list of me being confident that, you know what, Allah, you took me now, but I did this and I know I did it for your sake. I didn't just do it for fun. I did it because I wanted to please you. That was my ultimate goal. I, like, what an opportunity we have at life today, subhanAllah, to be blessed with the opportunity to show for something. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. This is probably gonna be the longest vlog because um, I'm combining, you know, the last 10 nights and Eid. But inshallah khair, um, I will be coming at you guys with another video soon, inshallah. And yeah, that was it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my Ramadan you know, a weekly series, I, I, I could say. Um, hope you guys were able to benefit and just, I don't know, have a good time watching. And thank you so much for everything, for your comments, your likes. I appreciate all of that. And anyways, guys, I'm going to take all this off and then get ready for bed. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Who's calling? My camera's about to die, perfect timing, but inshallah I will speak to you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.